Speaking of nuts, we got one more here from Iron Riddle. He sent us a couple of short ones. All right. Um, so here we go. Children are more in tune to the supernatural and paranormal than adults. Of course they are. Yeah. agree. My son, who was about four, would get a black Sharpie and draw on his wall next to his bed. These weren't pictures of anything, mostly abstract drawings. <clears throat> With a mild scolding and asking him why, he told me, it's to keep the monsters out. Monsters? Yeah, monsters in the wall. I'm more tuned into the paranormal than my parents ever were who tried to beat the devil out of me. Uh-huh. So I paid attention to what my son was telling me. Especially after my three-year-old daughter started talking about the dragon in the wall and holding her hand up like a claw and saying, rawr. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that'll, that'll get your attention. Because I'm going to tell you, you right now, if I walk in there and a young one of my children is writing on the wall, I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, you're drawing a portrait. If yourself getting an ass whipping. <laughs> <laughs> it's, su- it's surprisingly accurate. You should put more red in it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? Yep. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Uh, he continues here. One afternoon I was in that room. Oh, okay. Now I'm starting to get a little, uh, little tingly from this one here. Okay. Okay. I heard scratching on the inside of the walls. And the size of an animal to make that kind of scratching would in no way fit inside the hollows of the drywall. Correct. Mm. This was starting to get creepy. Starting! <laughs> starting to get creepy. Okay, I'm trying to like massage out my goosebumps here. Over mm-hmm. the next few months, my son still managed to find a Sharpie adding to his wall art to keep the monsters at bay. Then the day came where my LTR was in that room reading a book and heard the scratching. Then the head of the cr- of a critter morphed out of the wall to its shoulders right above my son's bed. Oh, my God. Oh, she described it as looking similar to the gremlins from the movie, only brown and gray in color and not green. Wow. <laughs> now my LTR is very familiar with the supernatural and got up to go after it. I heard her from the other room, Fuck up, demon! Get out of my house and leave my family alone. I'll drink to that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. All day long on that one. Woo. I ran into the room and said, I'm not going anywhere. I live here. <laughs> 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 That's not funny. She said, I saw it. I saw it. What are we going to do? At that point, I could still hear the scratching in the wall. I said, well, we need to cleanse the house. Yeah, if to bless the house and have it yes. cleansed, maybe have an actual uh, 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 Catholic priest come by and do all that stuff. Yes, yeah. And that usually will take care of it unless it's Amityville bad. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. or the um, the individual mm-hmm. is uh, not the house is haunted, yeah. not the individual. Yeah. But typically what... what what they're talking about is uh, it, it's an infestation. Mm. Uh, evil infestates a place, and then it wears you, tries to wear you down to the point where it can possess you. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's yeah, pretty good. It's pretty insidious. That's a, in that respect, I would say at least the first Paranormal Activity film they got that pretty much dead nuts. Well, uh, there's this new film out now that's. Uh, Vatican exorcist thing. Oh, I see oh yeah, the Pope's yeah. exorcist. Yeah, the Pope's. Yeah, called? I want to see that. And then there's another one coming out called Nefarious, I believe. I, I saw a trailer for it. it looks pretty good. Hmm. Uh, he says here, I got out some paper and drew King Solomon's symbol of protection. It looks like a complex version of the Star of David, I'm and taped it to that. the wall in the place the demon came out. I then spoke a prayer of protection over my son, the wall, and the house. A few days later, my son took the drawing down, and concerned, I asked him why he took it down, to which he said, Monster's gone. All right. <laughs> Good. But <laughs> a but. few days later, uh-huh. my son took the drawing down, and concerned, I'm sorry, uh, but a few days later, I heard the scratching again. Oh. I repeated the above process with three symbols this time in places he couldn't reach. It's been a year now, and the critter has not been back. Good. Wow. Woo! That is some creepy Ooh. ass shit right there. Yes. Now, it is. I, fortunately, I never had to deal with that personally myself. No. I don't think I'd ever enjoy that. Um, yeah, if I heard like giant claws scratching inside of my wall, I might 
move. <laughs> yeah. That would be a little weird, yeah. I mean, you, sometimes bit. you hear mice and shit, but that's yes. not a major monster, right? No, no, like mice, you can tell. They, they sound like fingernails Just scratching like, on a table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, no big deal. You're like little bit of paper crumbling. I don't know, the... man. That, uh, yeah, that sounds just like an infestation. It does. It sounds very, very bad. Woo, some good stuff tonight, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. And there's Love it. infestation, domination, and then possession. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.